Hey there, demons. It's me, your boy. Let's get started with some Michigan report from hell. This is an awfully quiet start. I hope this game does some volume. So, full disclosure, this is emulated. Uh, simply because I don't have the means to play it. Otherwise, <laughs> it was only released in Japan and Europe. It was never localized, so I don't get a chance to play it on my PS2. I mean, it says the game is fully in English. We sure did. It's good to see you, buddy. <laughs> right? We have a DM Michigan. They made a game about us. They didn't even release it here. It's kind of like a Metal Wolf Chaos. Though we did eventually get that thanks to uh, Devolver Digital. You know what? That game's kind of difficult. That was kind of a cool intro. <clears throat> it probably didn't save anything that I did. Oh no, it did. Okay. Cool. I did load this up to report since I am emulating it. I want to make sure it works. That's not Comic Sans, but it might as well be. Yo! So you're the new cameraman, huh? I hear you're a rookie. The name's Briscoe. Hi, Briscoe. I'm guy. Nice to meet you. That's Pamela. You've seen her before, haven't you? She's Zaka TV's star reporter, after all. Hey, you're pretty lucky to be teamed up with Pamela right off the bat. But don't go getting any funny ideas about her, you hear me? He's not even looking at me. Pamela probably wouldn't give you the time of day anyway. Man, what could the agency be thinking? I mean, sending a newbie like this guy out to get scoops? Huh? Oops. You hear that? Oh, well. Don't let it bother you. Now then. I'll be pulling storm. You need to know about TV news coverage. Listen up. And do exactly as I say. Of course, a cameraman's number one job is to be able to shoot things properly. It doesn't get any more basic than that. You know what to do, right? Okay, first off, try shooting that box there. It's an ordinary box. Fine. You should be able to do at least that much if you call yourself a cameraman. Number two, you gotta have an eye for scoops. Can't just let them pass you by. Just pointing the camera at things will never get you a scoop, you know? If you want a scoop, you gotta get out there and make one. And you can't just stand there like a stick. You gotta move around. Up high, down low. You gotta shoot the subject from every angle.
Focus on the reporter and lock onto her, or you can move along with her. Oh, it'll keep her center of the frame. Marker show where the reporter will move next. Color of the marker indicates what what will happen when she's there. I will say I cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, there's a gun. She came around a monster with the reporter nearby. Horrors act to their own free will. Alright, so she's gonna do whatever she's gonna do. And I, I'm just here for the ride. Did you find anything? Okay, next topic. Ramming is a technique you can use in a pinch. A cameraman can only use his body, you see. He can't take his hands off the camera. Okay. Try ramming into me right now. Not too hard though, you hear? You you ready? Okay, go ahead and try it. But take it easy. <laughs> hey, you hit me. Practicing here, remember? Okay. Go. Easy now. Not too hard though. That's uh, helped too. Right. Fine. I guess you got the hang of it. <laughs> You're just in there, just kicking your feet. Ah! So you're the new guy, huh? I'm Pamela. Pamela Martell. Nice to meet you. Okay, Briscoe. I'm borrowing the new guy until we start shooting. Okay, fine. But there isn't a whole lot of time, you know. Don't be late for the take. It can be tough out here on location. We've got to work as a team, okay? Don't mind Briscoe. He's always like that. He's a really dependable guy, though. He'll be a big help to us both. Oh, one more thing. As a cameraman, getting scoops is important. But it's not the only thing, in my opinion. For example, if somebody right in front of you needs help, or if there's some kind of emergency, I think you should stop shooting and help them. Of course, that's just my own personal opinion. But I've seen lots of cameramen. Oh. I was just about to trip over that board. Thank you. Uh -huh. So that's the way you work, is it? I can tell we're going to get along just fine. Uh, I don't really care if Donkey did. I don't really like Donkey. Well, I guess we'd better head back to the news van. Also, I think we hit triangle a little too soon on that. But, I mean, it was prompting it on the movie. Huh! So, even though this game's called Michigan, it takes place in Illinois. I mean, I get it, Lake Michigan. I'm not that dumb. I like that the characters are actually getting credits. But yeah, this should have been called Illinois Report from Hell.
Okay, wake up. Time for a scoop. Get up! Are you ready? Got your tapes? Battery okay? All right. Pamela is standing by outside. Make her look good now. And leave the sound to me. Take the cap off the camera. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Let's get it right, okay? Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Pamela Martell. We report tonight on a strange phenomena. An unusually thick fog, the cause of which is still unknown, has cropped up in the southwestern area of Lake Michigan, centering on Chicago. The entire city is covered. <gasps> Someone screamed! Let's go! <laughs> Girl, you better watch out. What happened to you? They all got killed. What are you talking about? What happened? It came through the <laughs> Oh my god! Help me! Help me! Help me, please! What are you doing? Help! Run! Get away from her! <laughs> Jeez it. What was that? What's happening? Just calm down. What's going on? What was that thing? Calm down, Pamela. Calm down? How do you expect me to calm down? On, it's gonna be all right. Hey, what's the matter with you? Are you just going to stand there filming? Turn that camera off. I tell you, come on, turn Pamela. It off right Quit it. now. Don't get mad at him. I tried pressing triangle, nothing happens. Useless idiot. I've had it. Working with losers hey, like you two. Behind you. I'm joining up with some other team. Uh, what? Just keep quiet. Behind you. There's a... M -m 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 and stop thinking you can order me Monster! around. Huh? What did I get immoral points for? Also, erotics a category, so I'm I'm encouraged to be a pervert. Ann Anderson, sister to R. N. Anderson. This is definitely... There's a blood scene here. It must have been a really gruesome incident. Alright, Arne Anderson. What are we looking at? in that room nobody in this room either what a bloody mess huh all right let's give up here there isn't anybody left in the whole hotel looks like it was just a false lead Frisco went downstairs a long time ago and anyway the other teams are getting the jump on us we don't have time to waste hanging around here We've got to get out there and find something. Risco's dead as fuck. Huh? I, 
The telephone! Could it be Briscoe? Hello? Calm down. Slow down. Somebody answer. Mom? Mom? Is that you? No, no. I'm not your mother. I can't hear you very well. Wait! You'd be a terrible dispatcher. The observation deck of the center building? Is there anybody else there with you? <laughs> okay, I've got it. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're coming to rescue you. You hear me? Don't give up. We're coming, I promise. Do you understand? She hung up. There's a survivor in the center building. Let's go. Maybe we can get some leads on what's going on. This voice acting is but wonderfully terrible. Somebody's in trouble. Risco should be downstairs. Let's hurry. So what is she going to do when she gets there? Pools of blood on the floor. Too much static to tell what's on. Somebody must have been attacked by something. the reporter take care of doors. So we don't have to open shit. Huh? We can kind of choose our own adventure a little bit. As soon as he knows he won't be needed, he takes off. The report from hell? Oh, good! The elevators are still working! Come on, we're going down. Get in! Oh. <clears throat> so we've been more towards suspense. Hmm? Who's playing the piano? Me. What are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Oh, and... damn. I can't play this song. No, no. I mean, it's no use. Whoa. 
I just let Pamela die. I still can't believe it. Did it really happen? What kind of a way to die was that? What am I gonna tell her parents? Briscoe? Hey, I know. I'll tell him. Pamela was a fine reporter and a brave one. She threw herself into her work. Yeah. Pamela was pretty brave, wasn't she? Uh, I had posted on the, the list. Trying to stick to the list I announced on Discord. Though there may be some additions, we'll see. Risco, I understand how you feel. Remember, Pamela and I started together. We were always friendly rivals. Look, I wish it didn't happen either, but... I'll know, consider it. Danger is what this job's all about. After all, Pamela knew the danger she faced. And I won't let Pamela die in vain. That's why. That's why we've got to keep going for her. Let's go out there and capture the truth. Briscoe, come on. We can't do it without you. Yeah, it's in the announcements, sir. I post the weekly schedule there, too. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Okay. Oh, man! I gotta... I gotta sober up. Think you could find me some water? All right, sure. Imagination. What? Shit, I lost her. You need some water. I don't think she went up, did she? I think the arrows might be guiding me to the reporter. Huge spotted spider. Hey, what are you? Oh, thank you. That was close. Is it water? Oh, 
it's water. Let's get back to Briscoe. So yeah, those arrows do kind of guide you back to the reporter. That laugh feels like it came straight out of Clock Tower, too. We found some, Briscoe. Here, drink up. You know I'm only doing one of those, right? Thanks. Whew! I'm a new man! Okay, back to covering the news. Where to next? That was a quick recovery. Okay, there's a survivor in the center building. Okay, got it. The van's outside. Let's go. <laughs> Just be getting blasted. Uh, Billy, you fucking flashbang. It's a monster! God, that is clunky as fuck. Oh, look out! Film it! Film that thing! Yikes! Watch out! Yeah, keep filming, you hear? What a scoop! Why did it make the area way darker? I guess the big one got scared and uh, <laughs> she's got a gun. Really? But let's get out of here before the big guy comes back. True. Oh, come on. God, playing Lifeline was so fucking frustrating. Get one of them. Hey, it's a news van. It's one of ours. Let's join up with them. Good idea. Oh, we're gonna be with the B team. There isn't anybody inside. No, I guess not. Where did they go? Hey! Look, there's somebody over there. Huh? P -p Pamela? Oh, Pamela! Look what happened to you. Poor thing. Hey, what's the matter with you? Hurry up and give me a hand! Are you okay, Pamela? I'm sorry I didn't save you before, but it couldn't be helped. That thing was eating you. There was nothing we could do. I can't believe you're still alive. Thank God. Come on, Pamela. Let's go. 
What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, oh my God! Are you all right? What the? Fire! Oh god, it's deadly premonition before deadly premonition. Also brave camera angle. <laughs> it, she would have caught on fire, probably. Come on! Come on! Hurry this way! Hurry this way. <laughs> Pamela! She was alive! No, she wasn't. Did you see what happened to her? God damn it! Son of a... Take it easy, Briscoe. That wasn't Pamela. Anyway, Except this is Chicago. Time being. This is an interesting mechanic. Oh. Wow, there's even fog in here. No, so this game takes place in like actual Chicago. The reason it's called Michigan is because of Lake Michigan. This fucking game doesn't even take place in the state that it says it's in the title. It don't need to make sense. That don't make no sense. Huh. Is that what you call a scoop? Well, this is. Huh? What's this key for? What are you wasting time filming that for? See, Chicago. <laughs> it's like, yeah, actually, I do know. There's a monster out there. But we can't just stay here. It'll corner us. 
just went right to her titties. So they got her titty out and everything. Does the game just continue? your second hydrate. I feel like that was the reporter can die and they get replaced. We're going to go through so many reporters. We're here. Maybe everybody evacuated already? Oh, people! <laughs> Mr. Briscoe? Thank goodness! I'm so glad you're okay. Hey! It's Carly! Glad to see you're okay too. Where is everybody? A few teams are still out covering the news. They told me to get out of the city though. But I forgot something back here at the office. I came to pick it up just now. I see. I don't know if that was scripted or not. Do you think you could wait for me for a minute? Huh? Oh yeah, sure! Zaka TV staff yearbook. Oh, look at this picture of you. You look weird. And this girl. <laughs> Take a look. Hey, there's Pamela's picture. She's so beautiful. Pamela. Uh. Her crotch literally killed Anne. You know, she always looked her best when she was smiling. Pamela. Pamela. God damn it! <laughs> oh. 
I'll never forget you, Pamela. Thanks for waiting for me. Oh, wow. That's awful. Both Pamela and Anne were really dedicated to their work. That doesn't really work. There's nobody here. Where'd everybody go? Yeah, I don't know if that death was supposed to happen or not. Also, that was loud as fuck for no reason. Maybe somebody's in the back room? No sign of anybody here either. I doubt there's anything of interest there. Looks like some kind of note. Hey, that's the telephone. Zaka TV, may I help you? Hello? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, don't worry. Just calm down and speak slowly, okay? Me? I'm Carly Reese. Yes, that's right. From the evening news. You do? Well, thank you. Yes. Yes, there's definitely an evacuation advisory. I see. You can't get out of bed? Where are you? Okay, I understand. I'll be right over. Who was it? It was an elderly gentleman in a nursing home. It sounds like he's been left behind there. We're gonna go rescue him? Well, of course. No way! I've had enough danger for one day. Thank you very much. But he's been left behind and he's elderly. Let the police or rescue services take care of it. It's not our job. But those services aren't running anymore. That's why he phoned us. Well, what else do you suggest? There's an elderly gentleman out there who needs help. We can't just ignore him. You just want a good story, that's all. How rude! Of course not! God damn it. I guess we gotta go. You decided to go? 
Thank you, Mr. Briscoe. <sighs> but I'm warning you, it's dangerous out there. Bum, 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 bum. Good evening, everybody. This is Carly Reese. Our news team received a telephone call. It seems an old man has been left behind at a nursing home. Here we are now at the Brody Nursing Home. Just about to begin searching the inside of the facility for the elderly gentleman. Is somebody there? Help! Please help me! Over here! Over there? They weren't letting me move. Justine! Carly? And Briscoe too? You came to save me? Justine, what on earth happened? Who did this to you? I don't know. I have no idea. I was at the office when somebody suddenly attacked me from behind and knocked me out. When I came to, I was here like this. Please, get me out of these things. Look at these shackles. Who would do this? Whoever it was, he must be quite the sadist. Just hang on. We'll get you free from there. But how do these unlock? Well, we'll just have to look around. There's got to be some way to do it. We're going to help you out, bound lady. So when we hit stuff, I guess it damages our fill? It looks like there aren't even enough balls to play nine ball. Yes, that's odd, isn't it? Let's go look for the missing balls. Well, there's some right there. Or rather, missing balls, I should say. It's the nine 
ball. Three more, huh? She's beeline it somewhere. Man, there's another dead body here. Did the monsters come here too, I wonder? Man. Hey! Look! There's a ball! It's the seven ball! Just two more, huh? There's... they're right there. You have to press X up couple times to get it like the game to like do anything because like that prompt doesn't necessarily mean that the reporter is taking care of the door they they have very set doors they're willing to look in There's a ball in there. That water sure is a nasty color. I wonder if there's anything in it. Why don't I try pulling the plug? Hey, another ball. It's the one ball. Just one more left to go. Doesn't this wall look a little too new here? Does it? I can't tell. Well, it looks pretty suspicious to me. I bet you there's something behind it. If we could just find a tool to break it down. I'm a tool. Well, let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find a tool like that somewhere. the way that chandelier is swaying oh my goodness if it does fall it'll crash right onto justine oh my let's hurry Thank you, work computer. It's like we're getting clues. Okay, there's not 
a proper menu. Ow! What was that for? Yeah, you earned it. This lamp. Do 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 do. Did you just hear a strange noise? It came from inside the armoire! <laughs> the sound came from inside this thing! Mr. Briscoe! There's a room back there. What's a room doing there? Huh? Oh, must be imagining things. It's the four ball! That's all of them. You know, they actually were really cool about that whole situation. Oh, hey, I tried to go in that room earlier. Try putting the balls in the rack. Oh. So one, two, four, six, nine, eight. One, two, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, five. Try putting the balls in the rack. Oh, thanks, Vigs. I just saw it. There. They're all open now. It's going to come crashing down, ain't it? Hang on. I'll get you off of there. by myself. Right. Thank you very much for helping me. Huh? But I'm the one that saved you. You didn't solve a damn puzzle. You're safe now, Justine. But... But what? We didn't find that elderly gentleman, the one that called us asking for help. I didn't think there was anybody here. I was yelling and yelling, but nobody answered me or came to help, until you guys showed up, that is. But there should be an old man here somewhere. That's the reason we came, because he called us. Old man? No, I tell you, I didn't see anyone. I don't know anything, not even where this is. Okay. That telephone call. I wonder if it was a trick to lure us here. But why? What good would that do anyone? Look, how should I know? 
But I guess you're right. I guess we'd better get out of here. Great. I'm all for getting out of here. Justine, you wait here until we make sure it's safe, okay? Okay, fine. Mr. Briscoe, let's go look for an escape route. This is not the way we came in. No, we didn't go in here, I don't think. So I just looked it up. This game has three endings. And it's all determined by the points that you get. That wall looks weird. I don't know. I didn't get enough time to look that up. But I'm starting to think maybe yes. And if so, I'll feel considerably less bad about it. Okay, I get it. Let the reporter take care of doors, but like... So looking in the wiki, the deaths are not scripted. However, you're not penalized for it in any way. Hey, look! There's something on the floor. It's a key! I wonder what door it opens. You don't want to go in there. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? And then you're gonna die.
Come on. Shoot it. Back got fucked up. The garage door. We can get out through here. Justine, come on in. Okay, I'm coming. All right, let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? I wonder if the others at the office are okay. There isn't anybody at the office anymore. The chief told everybody to go home. I stayed and saw everybody else off personally. I bet that they're all with the families now and that they've already escaped the city. We ought to escape too. I'm worried about my family. They might still be here in Chicago looking for me. Okay, then let's take Justine home first. You can just take me as far as you're going. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. And by the way, Mr. Briscoe, our other teams that got sent out, the ones that haven't come back to the office yet, they might still be here in the city, don't you think? We'd better find out. Son of a fuck! Are you serious? I know where Kristen's team is anyway. He got word there was a monster in the old Miller family mansion. He took his team over there to cover the story. The Miller mansion? Mr. Briscoe, we should go there too. God damn it! <laughs> this dude's always screaming, God damn it! So I think we actually beat that level properly. So immoral is when you're filming people being hurt. Or like attacked by monsters. Good evening viewers, this is Carly Reese. Chicago seems to have turned into a virtual city of death. Our news team has gotten word that some of our colleagues may have been left behind in this mansion. We're just about to enter the mansion to see what's happened to them. Let's go in now. There's a monster right in front of us! It's not moving! I bet it would if we got too close. Man, that thing looks brutal! We wouldn't stand a chance against it. Make sure you stay back. All right. Piano for you, Briscoe. There's a pot. Oh, thanks, Ma. 
Those are some high fucking cupboards. What a huge refrigerator. Yeah, honestly, the, had one of these. the proportions in this kitchen are kid, insane. I wanted to live in a house with a big refrigerator like this. One filled with tons of ice cream. <laughs> Hey, I'm talking over here. Okay, tell Spectra Ice Cream Dreams. Looks like the basement. Want to go down? I don't think I will. I get claustrophobic in basements. What's that? There's something on top of the armoire. But it's way too high. We'll never reach it. Big fight. Okay, so we can't take the Zelda route. If we use this, we'll be able to see the top of the armoire. I got it. It's a key. Maybe it unlocks something here. No, you roll into it or run into it really fast. Yeah, everything is so tall in these games. Poor guy. It's all over for him. God, it's a shame when what? a co-worker dies. No matter who it is. But I guess we'd better be going. Was that me? No, that would make sense because I would have died right there. That, uh, mm, yeah. Did you find anything in the basement? Nah. <laughs> no. Another dead body. What? I don't think I died. How? Must have been the monster. Let's go. Uh, Briscoe? Have time to worry about it. That's suspicious as hell, dude. 
The way Briscoe's like, nope, nothing down there, just some rando person, not a co-worker. Zaka boy has a girlfriend. Is it her? I bet we can open this with that key we just found. It opened. All right, load up. Expression. Expression, I say. What kind of clue was that? This painting doesn't have any passion to it. It's all the same painting. Briscoe, you're a really weird fucking dude. So D and M are our names. Oh, there she is. She's ready to fucking murder it. Do you not get it? All right. That was awesome. Looks like we're out of bullets. Oh well, that monster's in heaven. I mean, hell. <laughs> oh, phew. That was amazing. Yeah, you pretty much just follow the reporter. Guess we really don't have time to be looking. No Briscoe, you killer. It's no use. It won't open. Huh? <coughs> uh, nothing. Never mind. I don't know why. What? What what are we Yeah. Yeah, it's a strange game. But I always like strange horror games. It's another bathtub. Maybe we'll find something if we pull the plug. No, nothing. Gee, I don't know. Um, 
unlocked that door, didn't I? Yeah, I'm trying to let her take care of the door. This door. It's not locked anymore. This is a good one. I like this painting a lot. Briscoe's been acting sus at this whole time. Oh, he's not dead. Hey, are you all right? Mr. Henning! Carly, is that you? What are you doing here? Yes, it's me. We came to rescue you. Oh, hang on now, sir. Oh. <laughs> I... I... I was a fool. I let my whole team get killed. What kind of director am I, anyway? Oh, Mr. Henny! It wasn't your fault. It's all too... strange. What's happening here in Chicago? And what Zaka is doing, too, I don't know the details, but Jeff might know something. Lately, the Chief's been sending Jeff out on special assignments. Jeff went to St. Matthew's Church. It's ten blocks up. Went there to do a story. Oh, and... Could you do me a favor? Tell my wife something for me. I'm going someplace far away to do a story. And I won't be back. Tell her it's my lucky break. Biggest scoop of my life. He's already dead. Let's go. Carly, come on. Oh, all right. Come on. Let's go to the church. Good evening, everyone. This is Carly Reese. I'm afraid I can't seem to find the proper words to describe to you the current state of affairs. We've all lost so many things. Chicago is in a horrible state of tragedy. We're here at St. Matthew's Church, but we've all but given up hope. Zaka TV viewers, this may be my last report. Carly Reese signing off. Look at all these dead bodies. Maybe Jeff's one of them. Mr. Briscoe, there's something moving up there ahead. It really is, though. It's me! It's Carly! Oh, no! Is that... Is that Jeff? 
my name Jeff? Just trying to kill it the usual way isn't going to work with this monster! But what can I do? Leave? she go did she die was it so how There's the lodge. We're tired. We'd better rest there a while. Sorry about this. If I hadn't crashed the van, we could have been at headquarters by now. Yes, yeah, she did as fuck. Well. Look! Somebody's lying there unconscious. Let's go see. But be careful. It could be a monster. It's not a monster. I saw the green circle under him. So I may end up doing two playthroughs of this. Doesn't look like a monster. Is it alive? <sighs> Are you too with Zaka TV? What are you doing here? Did Dwight ask you to come? No. We had a little car crash. We've been wandering around looking for help. We just found this place totally by accident. Really? And you? What were you doing there passed out? Hmm. I was supposed to meet Dwight here. But I can't remember anything else. Huh? Anyway, let's go inside and talk. I can't relax out here.
Yeah, so we're kind of missing the story. To some degree, because every time a reporter dies, it just skips you to the next batch of levels. TV news team. Because that's a Zaka TV shirt. Dwight works for Zaka TV, so I recognized it. Huh? By Dwight? Do you mean Dwight Murdoch? Yes, that's right. Do you know him? Of course I do. He and I go way back. He got hired at the same time, you see. He never told me he had such a cute girlfriend, though. My name's Nina. Nice to meet you. The name's Briscoe. And what about you? You never put down that camera, do you? That gets to be a habit with TV cameramen. But you probably know all about it. Yes, I do, actually. Dwight's the same way. So, why did you come here? Didn't you think you should evacuate? I heard the evacuation advisory after Dwight had already gone out to cover the story. He called me from where he was. He couldn't make it back to our apartment, so we agreed to meet halfway, here at this lodge. And so here I am. Why were you passed out? Did you get attacked? I don't know. Maybe. The question is, who attacked you? If he's hanging around here when everybody else is evacuating, he must be up to no good. Doing something he didn't want anybody to see. And then you showed up. I bet he hit you over the head with a blunt instrument. So where is this guy now? He's probably still somewhere nearby. Ah! Calm down. There's nothing to worry about, Nina. It's just thunder. It's starting to rain. So you think this guy is yeah. I don't know. But don't worry. We're here with you now. That's true. I wonder what's keeping Dwight, though. Why don't you try paging him? Good idea. Paging. Nope. No can do. The phone's not working. Damn! So we're cut off from the outside world, huh? By the way, Nina, did you come here by car? Yes. I left it in the parking lot. Okay, good. Here's what we'll do then. We'll wait for Dwight until it stops raining. If he doesn't show up by then, we'll take off in your car. It won't do us any good to hang around here. We can contact Dwight from the office anyway. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Until then, we should each take a room and relax and try to get our strength back. You must be tired too, Nina. Why don't you take a shower or something? Yes, all right. I guess I will. Weird suggestion. The big one thing feels like, hey, why don't you like chill out? That shower did me a world of good. Sounds like the rain stopped, too. I guess we'd better head out then. Nina, could you go get the car from the lot? Uh, sorry, but I want to rest a little bit more. I feel a little dizzy. Are you all right? I'll be fine. I just need to rest, that's all. Are you sure? Yeah, you'd better hurry, though. All right, let's go. Huh? Did you hear something upstairs just now? Is somebody up there?
No! Who could have done this? It's probably somewhere close by. We can't stay here any longer. You're right. I'll go get the car. Let's go. Okay. Look, here's a shotgun. You might not know it to look at me, but I'm pretty good with a gun. As long as we have this, we can feel safe, huh? Briscoe was pretty calm about finding his co-worker dead, don't you think? Maybe he's a really cold guy. Or maybe he's just seen too much, and he's gotten numb to it all. But wait a minute. You don't suppose... Do you think Briscoe could be... Nah, he couldn't be. What am I thinking? I must be getting really tired to have a suspicion like that. This man that you don't know? Come on, get in. Let's get back to the lodge. Briscoe is waiting for us. Truth, I still can't believe this is all happening, but I guess that's the way it is. The bigger things are, the less real they actually seem. Almost like a video game, you know? I'm sorry, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I think I'm getting tired and confused. Look, here we are! I like that they have dialogue with like a summary of the events as they're happening i actually think it's really neat it's simple but it's neat briscoe we brought the car back briscoe briscoe do you still feel dizzy no, I'm fine now. Let's head out. What was that? Huh? There! The floor! Oh my god! Shoot it, Nina! What a scoop! Get it! Get it! Fire! You did it! Ah, that's nothing compared to that bear I killed one time. <laughs> I casually killed a bear. Ah, that thing wasn't so tough. <laughs> Don't let your guard down just yet. In the movie. <laughs> I can take this thing. Just get out of here. I'm all right. I've still got some bullets left. I'll make this thing blow up from inside. Nina! Look out! What the fuck? What in the Michael Bay hell was that? So I know I definitely want to do a second run through with a guide to know like the survival conditions and maybe do some like save states coming. Just so we can see the whole story because we're missing 
like crucial parts of it, but we'll get a natural playthrough in so we can say we we saw what we were gonna see. We're just about to arrive at headquarters. We never would have gotten this far without Nina. I'm really grateful to her. I don't know if there was a way to save her. I feel like that was We're here. The fog is thick here, too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out. Well, well, it's Briscoe. So you're all right, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're all right, too. How were things at home? The house was empty. Everybody must have escaped. But Jonesy wasn't there either. I'm worried. Jonesy? Our pet rabbit. Oh, okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? No, I was just about to go and when you two showed up. Good timing. Now we can go in together. Okay, fine. I got How do you get that back? Good. She hasn't been holding it for a while. Let's really let the chief have it this time. We've really got to let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through hell out there when we're covering the news. Especially this time. The government issued an evacuation advisory but she sent us out anyway. A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. Some of them are even dead, like Pamela. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. Yeah, well, you know. Damn straight. Ah, uh, well, and you know what else? She'd better make damn sure she doesn't go exposing any more of us employees to danger. And she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm gonna make her promise. And you, you get it all on tape, all right? That's a pretty good idea for you, Briscoe. If you get it on tape, even the chief can't try to worm her way out of it later. Pesky runs! Fire! Get it! Get it! Not bad, huh? Yeah, baby! You did it! Oh, that's like a, I don't know if it's actually a camisole, but it's kind of what it looks like. Some sort of undershirt with that. The sexy beam. Oh, we got some erotic points off that. I think those are like bonus suspense points. Do 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 do. Is 
Is it immoral points? In there, huh? Okay, let's go in. All right. Excuse me. I'm Justine Rhodes. What's going on? What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the meaning of this? We're here to expose you. We have something very special we'd like to discuss with you. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? <laughs> well, you see... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Yes, well... Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Yes, you're right. <laughs> come to think of it, what do I want to go out of my way to make the chief mad at me for? How come you're making me say it? You do it. Hey, hold on. I don't want the chief mad at me either. What are you two whispering about? You're being very rude, you know. Uh, all right. Fine. I'll say it then. Listen, Chief! Hmm. Let's see. Your name was... Briscoe, wasn't it? Y y yes uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee... You know my name? Wow! I'm honored. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Uh, am I really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Wait a minute! What happened to all that stuff you were saying? Oh! Right! Of course! Now, listen here, Chief! You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded that the news teams go out and cover stories. You unnecessarily put their lives in jeopardy. Oh my! I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. Just shut up and listen. And listen good, Chief. <laughs> what is this acting? Philip Briscoe, say this as a representative of all Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. My, my. This is fascinating. What is the, Go on. the vocal direction for that? Is what you're going to do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. And make sure we all get safely evacuated. You're going to do these things, and you're going to do them right away. You got that? And you're going to apologize to and compensate the families of the team members who died. Well, this makes sense a lot of talking. You promise you're going to do these things right here in front of this camera. There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care of. Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. Five hours from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would have lots of high-level connections like that. 
Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that transport? Well, sure. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes. Uh, I'll do anything. Well, then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. The man's name is Glenn Buckland, I believe. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. You want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. Yes, of course. So, where is this guy being held? In a research room at the Von Erich Library. A research room at the library. Got it. We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. You know, a dramatic rescue scene. Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. A news reporter has to be professional and accurate at all times, you know. Yes, of course. But I don't think... A bro never makes excuses for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. Yes, ma'am. I'll do the best job I possibly can. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse us. Well, that was pretty disappointing, Briscoe. I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. It was like I couldn't go against her, you know? Didn't you feel the same way? Not especially. At this particular moment in time, she just happens to be my boss. So what? Who knows, in five years, our positions could be reversed. Yeah, right. Man, you're really something. But never mind that. Let's get to that library. I want to show that woman what kind of report I can make when I put my mind to it. That was a really long conversation. Just to set up the next level. So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. I wonder what for. It's simple. I bet he got fired. What are you talking about? That's right. I bet they were going to fire him or transfer him or something. Yeah? The, the Von Eriks? It really does have a lot of wrestling references. They shut him up in the library research room during his working hours. In other words, they were just waiting for him to get fed up with it and quit on his own. They do that kind of things to those useless guys that just take up space. You've seen the type, haven't you? That's outrageous! It can't be helped. Different people have different levels of ability, right? But if we don't do a good job on this next report, the same thing might happen to us. Wouldn't want that to happen. Look, we're almost at the library. From hell. Three, 
two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Justine Rhodes. I'm reporting to you now from in front of the Von Erich Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city, still covered in a mysterious fog to bring you the news. Apparently... Oh, and Rhodes. D Dustin Rhodes. Still here at this library who's been shut up for several days in a research room and left behind. We are just about to go in and rescue him. <laughs> That's kind of cool that they just shoved a bunch of wrestling references into it. We're now here inside the library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff has probably all evacuated already. I'll take a break here in a moment. We're now going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. Burp. Actually, we're going to cut this one here. Um, uh, game's fine. We'll be getting back to it tomorrow for sure. I just uh, have been hit with a sudden bout of wanting to go to bed. So, yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, I won't look up anything between now and then. And then we'll, we'll probably do another run with a guide. But yeah, uh, until then, be safe, be kind, and I will catch you later.